It's Madden NFL 22 on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC East. It's the Bills and the Pats, and it's coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Buffalo Bills. Brandon Gordon alongside, as always, my partner Charles Davis and CD. In the few moments here before kickoff, let's give these folks at home a look at these two offenses by the numbers. What, what stands out to you? Brandon, I just continue to be amazed by the analytics of the game, and it's an area where I continue to concentrate and study because I'm still trying to figure out how coaches and coordinators can really crunch the numbers and find where exactly on the field the defense is vulnerable. It's the game within the game. And if you really dive into it, it can be endlessly fascinating. Some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And here's a look at their leader, standing 6-4. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself in an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. A play fake, now Moon. He's got a first down past the 30, and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. So now factoring in the face mask, here's first and 10. Play action, it's Moon. Oh, he's gonna take a shot right away. And did he get the feet down? No, they'll say he did not, it's incomplete. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. Here's second and ten. Now Moon. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Third play here, this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Boom. 
toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge, and that's good enough for a first down. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down, they did. Big time pickup for them, and now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone, because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Gets past one man, and inside the 20 before he's brought down. Let's go, let's do this! Go it up! So back-to-back -back big runs picking apart this defense on the opening game. I thought this was a passing lead. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Our game not even two minutes old, but a quick red zone opportunity. First and ten at the 19. To throw, Moon. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. Doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense, because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Second and ten. Out of the gun, it's moved. And this throw incomplete. And the defender right over him that time, but it's going to lead him to third down. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Here's Moon. He gets it to Thomas. And a pretty nice tackle there, ranging up from his full safety spot as he'll stop him about a yard short. The screen does get him nine, but it also brings up a fourth down. That's a nice design there, but sometimes, though, you get so many blockers out ahead of you, they kind of slow you down and force you to adjust. You always appreciate guys trying to help you, but maybe one less there could have turned this into a bigger game. And on their first drive, the offense staying out there. They're going to go for it on fourth. Moon to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And the Bills are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense, they can't get the stop here. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. But that doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. I thought they were onto something with that play call. He kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? This has been a long drive. You gotta figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now Moon. To the right side and complete to Thomas. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. There certainly was a lot going on on that point. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field.
And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. Yeah, he's got it. And he is going to be out of bounds. Well short of the pylon. And that will be a turnover on downs. So here are the Patriots now backed up a bit to start their first drive. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And I liked what his head coach told us about him this week. That no matter what happens, he, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, he's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, talking about ordering dinner, ordering snacks. I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. Now that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. Back to throw. Gannon looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Moss. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Two plays, two catches. You have a feeling they're going to look for him early and often, and that's to be expected. you got a player of his caliber. Why not? And I think it's also a message from them to the defense that you're not going to dictate to us what we're going to do with one of our better players because so often you hear about defenses saying, we're going to take away what you do best. In this case, they're going to move him around, find proper matchups, and make sure they continue to funnel the ball to him. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. We talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Here's Moss with a catch out of the backfield. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. No crystal ball up here. I can't truly see into the future. But if they don't start getting some pressure on him, make him move around a little bit and do something with the receivers to, you know, change up their timing, they're just going to get shredded as we've seen so far. Right now, they're off to a blazing start. Yeah, and you are right. He looks way too comfortable back there in the pocket. Yeah, there shouldn't be a pillow back there for him, all right? <laughs> if as, as a defensive guy, they've got to dump him on his backside a few times, shake things up. Yeah, they're going to need an in-drive adjustment here on this first series. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. No gain on the screen there at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. No score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football as they've got it with a second and ten. Looking to throw. Gannon. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. And a nice little game. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. 
He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. James. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Now a quick throw to Moss. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's James. Oh, good move. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. For a lot of guys playing this game, there was no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and turn his legs for a really nice pickup. from the end zone, first and goal. On the ground, it's James. And he'll be stopped about a yard shy of the goal line after a pickup of about three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Second and goal from the one. Back to throw. Gannon. And it's caught by Gordon for a pass touchdown. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. But there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And he gets it to make it 7-0 Patriots. So that one a 13-play drive in total. And it ends with a New England touchdown. send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. 
So here come the Bills out for their second drive. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Moon. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free and it's second down. It's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. And he'll give it here to his running back. Yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The Bills on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. Looking to throw. Moon. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Defense coming through on third down. Loss of seven to bring up four. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there. I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play. Just someone that I can dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. The Bills send the punter out as he'll come on to kick this one away. Brown with a stick skills. Call it 46 yards on the punt. Just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And the Patriots take over. Now we get a peek at the captain of this offense heading back out there. He's played a pretty clean first half. A touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of it. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second quarter. Let's go, It's serious right here. We got to they go play action here on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Defensively, celebration time because they finally forced an incompletion. He was perfect throwing the ball to that point. Yeah, but from his viewpoint, they didn't force the incompletion. He just missed. That's how hot he is right now, and that's how he wants to continue to throw the ball. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Gannon. He's going to float this one deep right side. And got his man complete. And he will be taken down inside the Buffalo 20. A big play there for New England. Well, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and the arm strength still there, and he showed it off on that one. And what was amazing to me was the fact he was able to get as much on the ball as he did because he was on the run. Normally, when you're on the move like that, you don't expect the ball to go that far. You would think you need your lower body to be involved. That was an all-arm throw. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. We got four. We got four. Now a play fake here on first down. And his throw here is incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And it's caught. And the Patriots are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. It's a nice second effort we just saw there. So I'm trying to get to the end zone. But a lot of times near the goal line, that second effort can lead to disaster. Make sure you hold on to the football because there's going to be guys swarming when you're carrying it. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. Back to throw. Gannon. That is caught by Moss for a Patriots touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Patriots add six to their lead. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, had scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Goskowski with the extra point. And it's now 14 to nothing. A drive that time of six plays. And it's finished off by a Pats touchdown. Touchdown, he'll send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And in a spot like this, still more than a minute, I think if you put something on the board before halftime, that would go a long way towards helping them get back into the game. There actually is something to the psychology of the game at times, isn't there? How much better would they feel running into the locker room, as you noted, with something on the board in a positive fashion? You're exactly right. It's a great opportunity to get that done. Now a first down throw, Moon. And Thomas has it. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. On the ground, it's Thomas. And he stopped immediately there. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots D on third down. Looking to throw. Moon going deep for Diggs. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. The Bills send the punter out as he'll kick it away for the second time. It's a 42-yard punt. They keep him to just a yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. 
The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. Throwing on first down. Gannon, quick hitter here, it's complete. Now the Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Only needing two yards on second down. From the gun, Gannon. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target. But he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. After the incompletion here now, third and two. Back to throw, Gannon. Throw left side, complete to Moss. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from 48. And Goskowski's kick is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Well, the white flag coming out as they line up to kneel on it. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for the Bills, and they will need to get this passing game in gear because they did not do much of anything in that first half. And it's why the scoreline is what it is. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they were much more successful throwing the football than their counterparts. As you can see the numbers there. 
All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Patriots take it over to start quarter number three. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. They'll run on first down. It's James, and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Off the play fake, Gannon. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has, and it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Looking to throw. Gannon, he finds his man complete. It's Hernandez. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. The Patriots send out their punter. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. down. It's Simpson and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. All right. I actually love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case we've got a guy who's quick and fast and he used it to great advantage. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Off play action, Moon. 
This one complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Good, sure hands there from a guy not accustomed to catching a whole lot of passes. But how about the way he was able to pull that one in and pick up good yardage? Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Off the play fake. Moon. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big gain there for the Bills. Now, look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not much. Maybe a yard down to the 23. Well, they certainly have been able to get him going and establish the run, so I think it's time to abandon that plan and start chucking it all over the park. And you know who's excited about that? The defensive front. They got just pin their ears back and get after him now. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They'll keep it on the ground. Simpson. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. On third down, Moon. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And this one is incomplete. <laughs> It just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. And now the field goal team on for Buffalo. And this a 39-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to three. So that may be not exactly what they were hoping for, but it does get them back within a couple of scores. And at this point in the third quarter, you don't have much margin for error, and that means you can't have drives that end with nothing. Whether it's a punt, a turnover, a turnover on downs, those have to go away. You have to end with a kick, either a field goal or an extra point after a touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't come before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. They'll run on first down. James. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Operating from the gun, Gannon. That's complete to Moss out of the backfield. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They run it with James. Taking it right down Broadway. 20. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. A great play there. 61 yards. And the Patriots add on to their lead. So there, Charles, I mean, a situation where it didn't matter how far he had to run, he was not going to be denied, and he winds up taking this all the way to the end zone. And the thing that stood out to me was his ability to continue through the initial contact. How many times do we see runners get slowed up and not get what they can on a run because of that first contact? But he kept the compass pointing in the right direction, kept the legs turning, and turned this into a huge play. And he covered a lot of ground on that one, as evidenced by the final total there on next-gen stats.